YouTube. It's your girl keeping it real with Trey Love. So guys, today is Sunday, so it's going to be a very relaxed and not much do anything day. Um, I'm going to do a little cleaning and finish up some of my sewing and just relax and enjoy peaceful things. Eat me some good food and just relax and enjoy the day. But guys, yesterday I saw this video. And when I tell you that video has left me baffled. Um, I think this has to be the uh, funniest and saddest video that I have seen from this creator thus far. And so... I just wanted to come on and discuss a little bit of it today before I actually get my day started. So, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> um, Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. Girl. What in the world was going on with you yesterday in that video that you made? Girl, that, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you was drunk. I don't know if you was high. I, I don't even know if you was possessed. I don't know. But the way you was talking in that video yesterday, Cindy, girl, it's funny and sad at the same time. It is funny and sad at the same time. You know, it just kind of reminded me of what I used to say in my head when I saw you with your, um, when you used to wear your jerseys all the time. It just reminded me of a woman that used to hang on the corner drinking a 40 with the homeboys. And yesterday in that video, all of that came out. All of that came out. Girl, I don't know, Cindy, but you might want to go relook at that video and do a voiceover or something if you can. I, I don't know much about this, but if you can, you may want to go do a voiceover for that video, Cindy, because I don't know. I don't know. But moving right along, um, because my battery is about to die too, but moving right along, honey. Now, it's just, this is the first thing I want to discuss. Um, and this is something I've been wanting to say to you actually for a long time too, because this is something that you've just been bragging and harping on for a long time as if it's a big accomplishment. And, you know, You've been saying that women, everybody is jealous of you. And still to this day, I've been trying to figure out um, what are they jealous for? And um, one of the things you seem to think that women are jealous of you for um, is the fact that you're married. However, Cindy, I don't know if you are aware or not, but... There are millions of women in this world that's married, Cindy. There's a lot, plenty of women on these YouTube streets right now watching you and watching other content creators that are married women. And some of those women, Cindy, are married to um, highly successful men, highly intelligent men. Some of the women strolling these YouTube streets, Cindy, have, if they're not married, they have a man. That's not a big accomplishment. That's something that women have been doing from the beginning of time, sweetie. That's nothing that's new. And then the majority of women in this world got a piece of a man like you do. So I'm just still not understanding what are they jealous about? A lot of these women on these YouTube streets are married and with um, very sexy, handsome men. So I'm not sure with you being married and having a man, 
why that would make women jealous. Some of these women on these streets are able to stay at home because they're married to such successful men. That they can stay at home and stroll the YouTube streets and spend money and not have to go work or anything like that. So some of these women have been do doing the same thing you just did for a long time, Cindy. And it's nothing new to women. And a lot of these women are very happily married because they're with who they actually want to be with. These women have taken the time to get to know their significant other. They didn't rush into anything. So they are truly happy women, married women, and truly happy women with their just significant other. You see, so just being married and having a man is not an accomplishment. Are you building with that man? Are you happy with that man? You know, it, it's certain things that go with having a man. Anybody can have a piece of man. That's why a lot of women walking around here miserable, depressed, um, sad, <laughs> because they have a piece of man and it's not really what they wanted. So that's not such a big accomplishment, Cindy. So women wouldn't really be jealous of that, Cindy, okay? And then the second thing, and this is like baffling and funny to me as well, um, but you've been hollowing how fine you are. You you just so pretty. You just so fine. You just the end all tell all. Oh, you wearing your waist trainer. Well, Cindy, since I've been watching, which I know it's been about two years, you've been wearing that waist trainer, Cindy, and it hasn't trained your waist yet. So I'm not sure what you've been doing, but you've been bragging on these same things for a very long time. Now, I can admit in, in your last video, I see a little bit of difference, but I don't see what you see. I don't see where somebody needs to get like that. You know, I, I don't see that yet, Cindy. But you tend to think somebody needs to get your type of fine ain't nothing wrong with it if that's your type of fine however that's not the type of fine i look at and be like oh i need to get like that so that's another thing you have to understand cindy you are not the end all tell all and you are not the finest and prettiest woman on these youtube streets a lot of the subscribers, oh my God, see, oh, a lot of the subscribers are beautiful, beautiful women with extremely beautiful shapes. They don't have anything to be jealous for. You see, a lot of those women are very, very happy with their body. That they're actually not trying to go out and get like that. But Cindy, I don't know if you believe that or not. It is some extremely beautiful subscribers and women strolling these YouTube streets. With some beautiful knockout bodies that you can work out and do everything you can possibly do and still won't get that body. So, Cindy, nobody has any reason to be jealous of your shape either. Nobody. I have a very beautiful shape, Cindy. But I don't brag about it. I don't think that's the end all tell all. I know that means nothing. You see, I thought like that in my young days. You see, in my young days, I thought I was the end all tell all, honey. But you know, just like my mom used to tell 